Today we're going to be going and painting Emperor Palpatine. Now he has some type of pale skin. Go ahead and use any type of skin color you want. I'm going to be using Flayed One Flesh today. Looks a little bit more pale of a skin color. You can mix colors and get what you like. We're going to go ahead and put him aside there for a moment. This is the same Emperor Palpatine we got in our big purchase on eBay. It already came primed and put together. So we're going to go ahead and use this same wet palette we've been doing. Open up our paint here. I'm going to grab a paintbrush and apply, you know, nice coat here to our wet palette. You know, feel free to get a little bit of water on there, bring it on. Okay. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to paint this quickly for those that don't want to spend time painting, just want to get a tabletop ready miniature in just a few minutes. All right, let's go ahead and get this timer started. Just grab Emperor Palpatine. You know, don't worry about getting it on his cloak. We're going to focus on his face and eyes right away. So go ahead and just put your paint all over inside his face like this. It doesn't matter you know, how messy or dirty you are right now. We're going to go back and touch it up later. Let's go ahead and put it on his face, his hands here. If you get on his cloak, it's okay. I'm just trying to show you how messy you can be and recover from it, no problem. We're going to focus on his skin color and get that all done. Okay. This is the first coat here. If you feel like it's a little wet, you know, come back with your brush and pick up the rest. Okay. Okay, go ahead and stop the timer. We'll let this dry and come right back. I've just given it a couple minutes here to dry. We'll go ahead and start the timer back up. Get some more paint on your brush here. And as you can see with the first coat, it's you know very messy. Some spots are thicker than others. We're just going to go over it one more time, just nice and messy. Don't worry about it. Do his hands again. See, I missed a spot there, but this second coat here, always applying to black, you know. People tend to put too much thickness in the paint, and it'll really just start to lose all the details, so... Gotta have to be very careful with the brighter colors. Go ahead and just kind of apply it here. All right, go ahead and stop the timer. Wash your brush off here. Right, as you can see here, 
It's very sloppy and that's okay. I want to show you guys that you don't have to you know, spend a lot of time making sure getting everything in the lines. So now we're going to paint the eyes on right now before we do anything else. Get the hard part out of the way. Go ahead and grab any type of white. Doesn't have to be white scar. Shake that up. Let's apply some of this here to our wet palette. Back on our white spot over here. Now you're gonna to wanna to get a, a lot thinner brush here. I would say something about like this here. Now again, you want to make sure your model is entirely dry up here because we're going to be going in for the eyes. So we're just going to give it another minute to dry. We'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead and start the timer. Grab our white here. Now, you don't have to be perfect with this either, okay? Because we can come back and touch it up. We're just going to go in on the left and right eye socket. Just put a dab of white like this. It looks bad right now, but we'll come back and put more skin color in there. So we're just going to leave those eye sockets white like this. It looks very big right now, but we'll come back and touch it up. We're going to let this dry. We'll be right back. We're going to go ahead and use some black. Put that on your wet palette. We're going to get a thinner brush. Make sure it's nice and pointed. Go ahead and get Palpatine. And you're going to Put two spots just right there near your eye sockets. And this is gonna take a lot of practice, okay? And again, if you mess up, that's all right. But just gotta get the face done first, get the hard part out of the way. Go ahead and start the timer here. We'll just grab Palpatine here, see if we can get focused here. There we go. I got his left eye pretty good here. Right eye I kind of messed up on. That's all right. I'm gonna come back in here with the black again and try and get his right eye a little better. There. Now his white sockets are really large right now. You know, I got black on his nose. We're gonna come back and touch this up, but as you can see, I am happy with where his eyes are looking. You know, some of them are gonna be getting touched up with some of the skin color right now, but it's hard to tell with my camera. Here we go. And it looks really bad right now, but you know, that's really all you need. If you look from here, looking good. Go ahead and wash your brush now. We're gonna come back in here with our skin color here put some of that on your thin brush here a 
All right. And if you want to make sure you got enough, you know, use the side of the cape or something here, make sure you like the consistency. We're just going to come up here and touch up his nose here and his mouth. Sorry, it's hard to focus the camera here. Here we go. Get inside of his face here. Clean this up a little bit. Right side here. This is the part where you want to go a little slower, not be as fast at everything. And you can see we're already starting to work on our mistakes, which is okay. I purposely wanted to show you going fast is okay. Now, as you can see, there's just enough white to give you the impression of an eye socket there. There, that's a good angle. And you can see the two black spots for his pupils. I can angle it even further like this so I can come up in here and make sure and get his eyebrows the same skin color here. Kind of clean up those black spots a little bit more. Now, as you can see, I angle it back and it really starts to take form. Now, I'm going to be coming back in here with black and getting the inside of his cape. But this is the, the hardest part of the model. So you can see if we angle like this, you guys can really see the light going in there. I'm happy with that. It really makes his facial features pop out. Now you could go a little further if you wanted and add a little pink or, you know, more paley skin color. But I want to keep this as simple as possible. Faces are hard and intimidating. I'm not a professional at it by any means, but, you know, getting some eye sockets and pupils on is the first step. Now if you want, after we paint the entire cape inside black, We'll go ahead and, you know, maybe color in some of his teeth with a little white. But I'm going to save that for last. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush. I'm going to go back to our black on my wet palette here. Using that smaller brush still. Because we're going to go inside and get the cape, the hood of the cape. All right. So this is the part where if you get it on the side of his face, it's all right. We can go back and get more skin color on there. And if you need a couple coats, that's okay. Just take your time. Go back in there. And, you know, maybe if I spent a little less time being so fast at the beginning you know you could spend less time on this but again just trying to show you how to easily paint this nice and quick grab some a little bit more black there's a little too watered down on my wet palette okay come back in here trying to get it so you can see it best angle as possible Timer's still going, as you can see there.
Okay, he's looking, he's looking better. This is the, you know, more precarious part here, trying to get the side, trying to see where his face begins and the hood ends. See, and I might have got some right on his eye above where his eyebrow is, so I'll come back in and touch that up here in a moment. Sorry, my thumb's in the way now. Get the top of his hood here as best as I can. As you can see, it's really popping now, which is awesome. I'm going to go back in there and fix that little spot on above his left eye. As you can see, I'm almost finished there with the black, so that's really good. I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush completely in that black. Make sure and get all of that black out because we're going to go back to that pale skin. We don't want any of that going on to our model. Go back and get your brush with that. Now this is just going to take a little bit. So you can put a little bit on your thumb if you want. So you can get some of this off. If I angle the model right here. And come back in here. Now it's okay if I get the side of the hood. And come back in and get it but i'm just going to try and fix that small little area there and i might have got a little bit on his forehead right here so i'm gonna come back and just go over it again just to make sure okay All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Go ahead and wash your brush again. Go back to your black. Now, just be a little bit more careful here. We're going to go back over it here. Nice and slow. There we go. Good, he's looking good, just for a little bit of work. You can see the white eye sockets, the pupils, his pale skin. All right. A little bit more here on this side. There we go. A little bit here on the neck. He's got his brooch there. All right. It's looking good. Now let's go ahead and use our black and fill in everywhere here on the cape that we don't have his hand at. It's okay if you get his cane again. We're going to paint that, you know, a brownish color. Follow around here like that on this side here. A 
Now if you guys want to see me paint this a little slower, there's also my video on my channel with Darth Vader, the Royal Guards, and Emperor Palpatine. But again, this is just for fast, quick, effective work. Okay. Just fixing the color around his arm here on his cape. Get his other side. I'm just going near his skin color with my small brush. I can come back later with the bigger one and get the larger areas. Okay. Perfect. You can see his eyes. Really looks good. A few minutes of work. Get the eyes done, the face, the hard part over with. Go ahead and switch brushes. A little thicker of a brush. Come back in here with your black. You can go over the spots that it left white on. Don't have to worry as much now. Add some more black to my palette. So now he's back to where he was, and we got his face and skin color done. Now we can go back over this with a wash if you want to darken it up a little bit, get those details, wrinkles, spend more time highlighting those. We're going to just call this good for now, and we're going to start going on and working on the highlights of his cape, his hood. Go ahead and push pause here for a moment. Clean my brush. So as you can see, got his eye sockets, his hood, and, um, and his hands there. So very happy with that. It's minimal amount of work. So now we're going to do some grays and blacks and start to highlight his hood and his cape a little bit. So go ahead and make sure and put down your black on your board. Let's use some Mechanicus Standard Gray and Dawnstone to lighten up and give some features to his hood. I mean, some people could call this done and paint his cane brown and base him. Let's just go a little step further here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Put it next to your black here. Nice, good amount here, like that. I'm going to do the same thing as we did in my Royal Guard video. Wash your brush off. Go ahead and get the black. Just kind of mix it in over here. That's pretty good. It's definitely an upgrade from the next one. We'll go ahead and start the timer again. Now, you know, use this same type of brush here. Go from the top. Just kind of brush it on nice and thick like this. Just kind of all over here where the light will touch. And again, this is just our first color. And it's okay if you don't get it everywhere, you know. It's kind of a little wet, which is okay. 
I'm just gonna kinda, sorry, off the camera there, make this gradient like we did our Imperial Royal Guards, but with Palpatine. Kind of dragging it down here, near the bottom of his cape. Some people might say, well, why are you just going to turn them gray? If you use our shadows correctly, when this dries, it'll really start to pop. And kind of just brush in here some different colors so the robe looks like it's kind of floating okay, just kind of like this we'll let this dry here and we'll come back here in a moment go ahead and push pause So it's had time to dry just a little bit. You can see it's really blended in really well. The back here needs some work a little bit, but from the top, it's the same color here. So let's go ahead and grab some more on our brush here. We're gonna go ahead and drag some more of this lighter color in here. Get this gradient going. All right, we're gonna go ahead and apply it again from the top. Let's start our timer. And as you can see, it's just a little lighter of a color. You know, just Gonna go back and forth with it a little bit here. Kind of go down shoulders here, the arm, stay on top of the cloth on your arms and shoulders. Just kind of drag it down. This is just an easy way for trying to make black stand out on the table. It's kind of hard to do. Same kind of technique as we've employed before. Just kind of drag it down here. And see, I got some of it on his nose. I wasn't being careful. That's okay. Mistakes happen. I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now, wash your brush off, get your smaller one and go to your skin color with a different brush here, that small one. Go ahead and just go back to his nose here just like this side of his cheek here I got too. Okay, just like that, we're back to normal. Wash off that brush. Now we've given time for this to dry. The hood and the... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just grab complete gray over here. Just work our way from the top here a little bit. 
getting these highlighted spots. Use the side of your brush here if you want to come down a little bit like this. Missing some of the areas on the hood. Get the shoulders, the arm here like that. And then this side over here. Side of the brush is good. Okay. As you can see from the top here, it's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and get some more black now. Put on your wet palette over here in this black gray area. Mix it in with this gray a little bit more. I'm gonna come back and fix the bottom of his cape here. Make it a little darker, better transition here. Just kind of go like this. So it's not as sloppy. At the bottom here. And again, it doesn't matter too much because we're gonna put our sandy base on, so it's gonna get our cape on the bottom anyways. Kind of get the bottom here. If there's any weird transitions. The front of the model here. Now we can kind of mix this in over here a little bit. and drag down into what you just painted. Make this transition a little better. It doesn't have to be right across. Just trying to blend it in a little better. Might be nice to grab a little of that gray paint his belt here just so that sticks out a little bit go ahead and paint his brooch and wash your brush off Come back over here and grab the black again. Just kind of fix the area here where the brooch was. If you got a little bit over there. It's just kind of good to show the different patterns on the model here. If you want a little lighter gray on this one inside here, the hanging part, you can just kind of drag down nice and slow. Kind of highlight that area right there. You can make it what you like. The back's had time to dry and it really is blended in nicely. Go ahead and get some just straight black now. And we just want to make sure and touch up the inside of the cloak here so it's nice and dark. really makes that belt stand out. Okay. Inside of his cloak here, where it's a little darker, when he's pointing. And if you think it's too 
light somewhere you can come back with a straight black and darken it up somewhere You can use the side of your brush if you'd like and paint the edges of his hood here. Okay. Wash your brush off, come back over here and fix the top of his hood a little bit. Now we're going to grab our Dawn Stone, add that to your wet palette. Just need a small amount of this. Use a small brush, add it just right here. Mix it in with that darker gray. We're going to go one more little color bump up. And grab Palpatine's hood here and just kind of use the side of your brush. Just highlight the very top here. Grab some more of that. Come down here on his arm. It's very slightly add it in here on his sleeve maybe a little bit on his shoulder here and over here on this shoulder and his sleeve over here If you look from the top here, it's really starting to just blend very nicely here. All right, I'm pretty happy where that is. Let's go ahead and work on his cane. Just go ahead and get a nice brown color. Get some Gorthar Brown. Grab a nice small brush, put it on your wet palette over here. Set our timer up. And just come over here on his cane and just paint it in. Careful around the hands here.
He is looking pretty good for just a few minutes of work. Really like his eyes and sockets, and his belt, and his cape, and the blending here. It's a simple model, but we're gonna go ahead and pause this for a second. Take a look at the model. All right, we got some options now. We're gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of our shade wash here. Just get some known oil, kind of shake that up. We're just going to apply this very, very thinly on his face and his hands and his cane just to give it some of those details here real quick. We'll go ahead and start this timer up. Grab a very small brush. Get your known oil and just kind of wipe some of it off. And go on his hands here just kind of cover them up a little bit here like this kind of show those details of the knuckles we don't want it to pull up too much but just enough so you know it's showing the fingers here a little bit like that grab a little bit more go ahead and do the other side here and the cane get some of those details I don't want to put on the cape because we worked hard on our shading so we're going to kind of leave it like that you can see now we got a little bit more definition on the hands now you don't have to do this but we're going to just grab a little bit of known oil and if this doesn't work, grab water right away and suck up the wash. But we're going to just put it on his chin here a little bit. See how dark that got? We're going to grab our water and just kind of suck it up now a little bit. I just want to kind of get the teeth area a little bit here. Not too much though. I don't want him to look like a vampire. Just trying to darken up this area just a little bit to show some of that detail kind of quickly on his nose. If you don't like it, get some water and apply the water on his face back where you want it to be a little bit brighter. Okay. You can suck up the water a little bit. This just kind of gives him a little bit of a definition here. And I think I like that where it's at. All right, let's go ahead and pause. And check out Palpatine. Okay. You can see his fingers a little better. As that starts to dry, you can start to see his mouth and chin wrinkles a little better. And you know, we got his eyes still here. Trying to focus. There we go. Remember, on the table, he was going to be like this. So, I think it's very doable in a quick amount of time. Please spend more time highlighting, making the face a little bit pinker, if you like, on his cheeks or his forehead or his wrinkles. This is just a quick and fast video to show you how easy it is to make a tabletop Palpatine eye sockets and pupils included.
and doing some nice quick shading. Let's go ahead and use our basing now that we've been using on all of our army. Shake that up. We're going to be using our Armageddon dust again. And we'll go ahead and start the timer. We want to get our thick brush here that we always utilize for the basing. Grab some of it here. You can grab some water if you want, if it's a little thick for you. Now, Palpatine's pretty easy. He doesn't have much here. And it's okay if you get on his cape. Just kind of add it to the bottom here. I'm just going to do a quick little pass to get that color down. And then I come back and add some more texture. And this lighter base will really make Palpatine pop on the board with him being completely, you know, black and gray. So it's a good thing. Add a little bit more texture here. Okay, we'll call that good. Pause this. And we'll let that dry. All right, the base has had time to dry. We're gonna do some right scar and do some dry brushing. Go ahead and put some of that on your nice stiff brush. We've done this in all of our models on the bases. Go ahead and Get most of the paint off if you can. Grab your base. And we're just gonna get some of the highlights on the base here. Just to kind of give it that extra feature of highlights there. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. If you get too much, we'll go back and get it off. I feel like that's good enough. Oh, got to start the timer. That was the first time this video. That was pretty good. All right, let that run for a moment. We're gonna go ahead now and use some Zandri dust. I'm gonna dry brush some of this now. Get that little wet with that. Go ahead and come back over here and do the same thing until it's all dry. Grab in for Palpatine here. You can dry brush on your hand a little bit, make sure it got enough off. Just kind of come in here and dirty him up a little bit here like this. Really makes the miniature look like it's been here on the board. Just like that. OK, 
Okay, pause this. We're going to go ahead now and get in our black. We're going to finish off the base. Start our timer. And just go around the base here, the edge. Okay. And then for Palpatine is now complete. This finishes this video today. Go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like the video. Comment down below. I appreciated everybody's likes and comments thus far. And we officially made it over 100 subscribers on the channel, which is awesome. And I look forward to doing more of these types of videos. Again, this is just a quick painting of Palpatine in about 40 minutes. Something everyone can try, complete, get a tabletop ready miniature. Please watch out for the next video, which will be Bosk. And then after that, we'll post a video of all of the miniatures together that we'll be giving away. Stay tuned. Have a good day.